Hello, once again, I'm back, as I said I would be, with a question and answer video. So, I have two notes of questions. Let's start this off. Okay, I got these questions from Facebook and from Skype from some of my friends. Not everyone answered, so I'm just going to do with these. What's your favourite colour? Uh, my favourite colour would have to be red, since I wear it a lot. I don't know why. It never used to be, but I don't know. It's just like suddenly just become my favourite colour. My favourite animal. Um, my favourite animal has to be. I think it has to be a tiger. I don't know why. I'm born in the year of the tiger. Just. Um. I don't know. They're cute. <laughs> um, what is your greatest fear? My greatest fear has got to actually be... It might sound weird, but like, it's the fear of the unknown. I hate not knowing what's going to happen. Like, it's hard to explain. Uh, I hate thinking that I don't know, there might be an end to everything, just like that. And the fear of like not knowing what's underneath me, the fear of, I don't know, it's a fear of a lot of things. <laughs> it sounds weird, I know, it's something stupid to be afraid of, but it, it does scare me. <laughs> and I think that's like the only fear I have. <laughs> and it sounds really ridiculous. <laughs> right, that's the next one. Why are you into manga and anime? I think that was from Katie. Well, Katie, I'm into manga and anime because it's awesome. Everything about it is awesome. Also, it does help me to relax a lot. And it is very funny, some of the stuff I watch as well. I love, like, Naruto, Full Metal, Alchemist, if I could finish saying that. I'm not calling it Full Metal. Um, I don't know, I love loads of it checking no cohesion stuff like that death note is actually my favorite one i watch it because i love them and they are very addictive <laughs> once you're in you can never get out have you ever pretended to be a donkey <laughs> um not that i can remember um i probably have at one point <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you like to do in your spare time? I do a lot of things in my spare time. I like drawing. I've got like rehearsal stuff I go to at the moment for a play I'm doing. Uh, I used to read a lot. I don't really do that much anymore because I can't find any good books. Um, but I think the main thing I do in my time is either watch anime or play on the xbox <laughs> because i am so productive <laughs> right what's next what is your earliest childhood memory mm, i don't know actually i think it's probably gonna have to be preschool being pushed off a chair because i like to be depressing like that <laughs> I still remember it though. I remember it really hurt. I still can't remember who it was though. It was a boy. A boy who went to my pre um, preschool. I don't know. I don't remember preschool very much. Who is your best friend? Best friend. I don't really have one specific best friend. When I was younger, I would have said that I used to. I mean, I've still got like best friends which I grew up with. Like um, Georgia, Chloe, Alice, Sophie who I've grown up with from South Green, which was my junior school. Um, which is the Fate video from. Check it out. <laughs> um, but as I got up into middle school, which is my senior school, I found loads more people that were, to me, are like my best friends. Now. When we first started, maybe not so. Like, how do I explain this? Mm, Danielle and Emma yep 
<laughs> I thought they were total weirdos when I sat next to them. I got moved next to them. Maths. <sighs> Ended up being best friends with them. Thanks, guys. And that led on to Amy. Um, and your sister, Heather, as well. My birthday tri triplets, because we're tight. Um, only she will know what that means. <laughs> Uh, I've got Hannah, who I became friends with because we walk every day now. Well, I say walk every day. <laughs> Not most of the time, unfortunately. But like year seven, yes, we used to walk together all the time. Now, not so much. Not because we're like drawing apart, because Hannah, you're never ready. <laughs> and sometimes my clock, I, okay, my clock sometimes a little bit too fast. Um, and then I've got friends which I would now consider my best friends that I wouldn't have before when starting Bedrocky School or even at South Green. Um, how do I say this? Got friends like um, best friends, who I consider best friends, and this is going to sound so cheesy when they're, if, they're, if they watch this, I actually now consider Beth, Lewis and Jack all my best friends and Nathan obviously. Love you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need to stop laughing because now I'm blushing. <laughs> um, yeah, I all consider them my best friends, apart from Nathan, because you're my boyfriend, and I love you. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you about this, and you're gonna watch it, and you're probably laughing right now. If not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah. Back to the question, I don't specifically have one best friend anymore. I have loads. And I am so sorry if I miss you out and there will be a little clip edited after this. After this. <laughs> after this, if I have missed you out. With a long list of names. Probably. I will consider people as my best friend. Now. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers the question. So, that's page one done. What subject, sub, try that again. What subjects did you take for GCSE? I took history, Mandarin, art and media studies. I don't regret taking any of them. They are such fun subjects to do. I'm loving doing media studies and Chinese is amazing. It's like Ni Hao. The only problem is, is actually trying to remember how to pronounce things, which I can't even do in English. Uh, so doing it in Chinese, hmm. <laughs> I have like books and stuff, like, it can get difficult. For example, I don't know how well. You can see that there's loads of writing, and I have a different name as well. Lu Xiu, which I think is quite cool. I, can't, I don't know what it means, it means something. <laughs> I think Miss told me at one point. I can't remember what it was. Ten things you have on your bucket list. One of those things is definitely to go to America and Egypt. Those are the two countries I want to go to. Uh, America would have to be the LA area. Because I want to go to like, see Hollywood and stuff like that. Egypt, I have to go and see the pyramids. Because Egypt, Egyptians, my favourite period of history ever. I don't know why, it just is. Um, other things, I don't don't really know. Um, <laughs> I want to be able to drive a motorbike. I guess like that could be on my bucket list. Um, what else? Oh, to be in a movie. I don't care what movie it is, to be in a movie. <laughs> It could be as a background person, the main character, but my on my bucket list I'll have to be in a movie before I die. Even if it has to be one of the scenes where I'm on my deathbed, I will be. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really have a bucket list. Um, I just have certain things I want to do, but I don't know, well, yeah, I would say going to different countries like America, Egypt, Japan definitely. I'd so want to go to Japan. And it has to be because of a non karate related thing. It would have to be to go to Tokyo, go to places like Nakasaki with like, the bomb and everything. 
um, going into the mountains, go to Mount Fuji. But hopefully while I'm there, I'll be involved in an earthquake, which would be a very good thing to do. Um, what is the stupidest thing I have ever done? I don't know. I think I've probably done a lot of stupid things. Um, let's see. What would be the most stupidest thing I've ever done? <sighs> That's difficult. I don't know. <laughs> I've done so many stupid things. Um, let's think. Let's go back into like the depressing days. <laughs> Try and find something in there. Um, I don't know. I've done loads of stupid things. But I don't think any of them are majorly stupid. Uh, I think like the most stupid thing I've ever done is like get into like petty arguments at my old preschool and then it escalating into something massive is that used to happen all the time though thinking about it like, the whole class be split in two halves one side agreeing with one side but whenever I used to get an argument I swear to god there's more people on the other side <laughs> oh good old times how many people have you wanted to punch in the face I don't know I don't think I'm kind of that person to want to go punching people in the face sounds a bit weird since I do do karate but um, I'm not one of those people who just want to hurt people for no apparent reason um I don't know why uh I want to punch myself in the face sometimes just saying stupid things and say oh my god why didn't you do that why didn't you say this like, ugh Right, next question. <laughs> if I had to eat a celebrity to stay alive, who would it be and why? Justin B, because it would do us all a goddamn favour. <laughs> because no one needs him anyway. Basically, he's been a retard peeing in buckets and spitting out the window at people and performing in front of his gram, gram, was it grandma? Grandma, yeah, grandma naked for her birthday. You're doing well, beebs keep up the fans that's it for questions because let's face it no one replied to my facebook post i just dropped it that's all the questions i have because no one replied to my facebook post so i just had to ask people on skype so thank you lewis beth katie and abby for actually asking me questions so i can make a video um Although, not sure about the donkey one. That actually was my favourite question. <laughs> if you ever pretend to be a donkey. Thanks, Beth. So, I think that's it. Uh, that's all the questions I have written down. Let's just check, just to see. No. Nope. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.